again, everyone. It's Brittany from The Pretty Plus. I'm back so soon. I typically record these on the same day, and then I schedule them for a day or so apart. But this time, I decided I would schedule them close together because I have other videos coming up, and I typically don't have so many scheduled, like, all at once. But I figured you would rather want them, like, one after the other instead of having one and then waiting, like, until next week for the other if you're a binge budget video watcher like I am, <laughs> that's how I would prefer. So I decided to go ahead and share it all with you. So if you haven't watched my videos before, I um, typically share my budget every single month. My family is a very mediocre earning <laughs> family. My husband and I both work nice, but like mediocre paying jobs. We're in like the middle of Indiana and uh, our cost of living isn't super expensive, but we also don't make a ton of money. So I'm hoping that this gives some guidance or some hope to people who have just like everyday kind of jobs and still have a family but want to meet their savings goals or debt payoff goals or whatever that might be. Um, we are currently working on saving at this point. Actually, this month is kind of about a little bit of stocking up, a little bit of saving. So, um, I would say mo mostly saving, but, um, I will go ahead and go through all of the things that we're planning on purchasing this month and share my budget with you. And then, um, you can come back at the end of the month, the beginning of next month, and you'll be able to see how my month ended. If you want to see other examples, I just posted earlier today, my November budget review, and before that was a November like budget with me like this December one is. So you can kind of get a feel for it if you're interested. Um, my first four uh, lines here are the same all the time. My mortgage, 680, car payment, 279, phones, 166, and internet, 65. We've budgeted 300 for gas and electric. I'm not sure why 300. That might change, but I'll leave it there for now. I'll have to look. We usually look at what we did the last year, like the same month last year, and we must have spent more last year, or maybe I just haven't updated it, but 300 is what we have budgeted. Um, $500 budgeted for daycare. We pay for daycare a month in advance. So in December, we're saving throughout the month to pay for just January's daycare in full at the beginning of the month. It's one thing that we can do to make sure we have it good for the next month and paid all at once so we don't forget and have to scramble around and make payments last minute. It's just already done. And I think the daycare appreciates that and we definitely don't mind doing it. It makes us feel much more prepared. Then we have $12 for Hulu because we pay to watch without commercials. So, duh. Um, budgeted $300 this month for groceries. And that's because I wanted to do a little bit of stock up type of stuff. I want to stock the house more before the twins get here. If you haven't watched before, we're having twins in April. Um, I have a video about our twin announcement, dedicated video to it. So I'll link that for you. Um, but yeah, I wanted to stock up on like some pantry things before I start getting too tired or achy or just feeling just not myself. And I wanted to start on like stocking things up so that when I'm feeling that way and then when I'm out with the twins, I won't have to worry about too much. Fresh grocery runs, sure, but I won't have to worry about what's in my pantry or what's in my freezer. So I've already done some of that this month. Um, I got some cans in there and I this month I've already stocked up on some chicken for the freezer. And um, so we've already spent $159 this month on groceries and we have $141 left. I'm not opposed to going over that this month just because uh, I know that I'm doing, I'm not just buying crap. <laughs> so anyway, $300 is what we have budgeted. I budgeted $0 for our cats. They are well taken care of this month. $300 for my baby bill. That's to pay the doctor's fee for when he does the delivery. And we pay the $300 every month. Uh, $0 in debt payments because we are credit card debt free credit card personal loan anything like that debt free in that front um we have budgeted fifty dollars for restaurant i have a 
very good plan for food this month. So I'm really, really hopeful to stay under that $50. We've gone over it so many times. I think if we actually stayed under, it would be like one of like two or three times this whole year that we have. And $50 is smaller than we typically do. We've been doing around $100, but last month we budgeted $50 and we went over by like $68. So this month that would get us two like meh meals, like pizza one night, Wendy's or Taco Bell one night, or, you know, like three fast food meals if we really need it. Or like one, like if we're at the end of the month and we're like, hey, we haven't gone out to eat at all, then we could go to like one like burger type of restaurant. It'll be fine. So $50 is what we're looking for. But it's $25 for gas. We've already used 55 of it. So my husband and I both have a small commute for work. I think we both commute about 30 minutes, maybe. His is probably a little less, mine is probably a little more, but anyway. So then the next things, this is a modified schedule of my sinking funds. We typically have this all full and um, stock our sinking funds, which are just an extra way to save for specific needs throughout the year. Um, we stock those and have them done. But since we've had a weird few months with some adjusting of payments and jobs and stuff like that, um, I took some of them off totally because they were already really well funded or fully funded, or we just didn't need any extra money in them. Or I kept, I think, three or four of them. So um, we don't have an allowance this month, and we'll go back to having one next month, but this month we don't have one. Um, Family needs, insurance, car, and house, removed those. We kept gifts, which is for gifting friends and family Christmas month. Obviously, we wanted to make sure we could still do what we were wanting to do. I mentioned this the last one. We're not in the poor house. We're okay with our money. We're just trying to be really responsible with what we're doing during this time where it's just kind of uncertain. Um, took off the holiday sinking fund because it was it was really well funded and we, I just did, I just used the rest of it today. Um, and then also took off the pet singing fund. There's this fully funded. We've just been putting five extra a month in there. So I just stopped that for now. Um, travel singing fund. We kept $50. We're not traveling anywhere <laughs> and we haven't for the whole year pretty much. Um, but we'll stock it, keep stocking it, keep stockpiling money in there. And hopefully next year we'll be able to do a few little traveling things to visit family. And I'll be able to take that down from 50 a month to 25, which is not what we planned on doing for the next year. We planned on upping it, but it is what it is. Um, Mason sinking fund. That's for gifts for me and Clara and Brett um, for birthdays or anniversaries, Valentine's Day, Christmas. So I kept that because it's Christmas time. And I have been purchasing gifts for Brett and Clara, and I hope they've been purchasing them for me, but I know that they haven't because I control the budget. So um, there's that. And then baby savings, that's savings for the twins, putting 200 extra into it this month. This one is only going to be um, going through April, the month that we have them. And we'll just use it to buy baby things that we need, and then any extra we'll be able to use to get them stuff throughout the year. With Clara's, I had one for her, and it was $800 just for her, and I had a few hundred dollars left at, like for her first birthday, so I was able to use that for her birthday party, which was really fun. So with the twins, I'll have about $800 apiece for them as well, and hopefully we'll have money left over for a birthday party for them too. I mean, we'll do one regardless, but it's just more fun if you have a little extra cash. And then I budgeted it $100 for kid expenses which includes like anything Claire needs throughout the month. And I'll probably look for some diaper sales, start stocking up more on those <sighs> because we're having two more babies and they, they use a crap ton of diapers. I have some gift cards that we have tucked away for diapers and I'll probably try to use all $100 of that budget to either get things Claire needs, which I don't think she really needs much, or to get things that the babies will need. So all, all in all, we're looking at spending $3,382. We had actually um, budgeted for our income to be $4,395, and that does include $935 that I rolled over from the previous month. 
this also includes the fact that I was off for a whole week without pay. So one of my checks is very minimal. So this month is just a little challenging, but Brett did get a bit extra on a check. If you see the overage here, that's big boy Brett doing big boy things. Um, that has helped with that stuff. Um, so at the end of the month, we should have around 1400 bucks, 14 to 1500, um, to put toward our savings, which will be very nice because we like use some stuff from savings, like to help. We bought a car in cash for Brett, um, because we both need bigger cars because we're having two more kids and we only planned for one. So we both have to have cars that we can put three kids into. My car will be financed again and I'll need to do one that we can put three kids in and a niece or a nephew if needed. <laughs> so I'm looking to get like a bigger SUV with third row seating. And he ended up getting a Chrysler 300, which has enough space in the back for all three kids, but no more. So I think that's all that I needed to share with you guys. I hope that taking a, a brief look at our December budget and what it's looking like for us can help give you some hope or some guidance on things that you could do to um, help your budget this month. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment below or send me a message and I'll be happy to, to talk with you about that. If you want to find me in other places, you can find me on the internet at The Pretty Plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. And as always, I'm on my blog, theprettyplus.com. Um, I have a lot of budget information as well as other information that you can look at there, recipes and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment, all those good things, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.